First of all, you should calculate and select the electricity cable section to design any household or commercial power supply systems. Formulas yield more accurate calculation outcomes than the tables. You need to use such formulas when the tables lack required data. You can calculate the cable resistance using the following formula. R equals PL divided by S, where P is a specified resistance, L is the cable length in meters, and S is a cable cross-section area in square millimeters. If you know the cable diameter, the formula will look as follows. R equals 1.27 PL divided by D squared. Generally, respected handbooks contain metal-specific resistance. Thus, we calculate the cable length based on these expressions using the following formula. L equals RS divided by P or L equals 0.785 RD squared divided by P. If expressed in terms of diameter. We calculate the cable cross-section area using the following formula. S equals 0.785 D squared. The following formula calculates R2 resistance and T2 temperature. R2 equals R1, 1 plus lambda, multiplied by T2 minus T1, where lambda is an electrical resistance temperature factor. R1 is resistance at a given initial temperature, T1. Generally, T1 equals 18 degrees Celsius. All tables contain R1 value at T1 equals 18 degrees Celsius. We calculate the current capacity at the state standard current density, A divided by square millimeters, using the following formula. I equals 0 0.785 delta D squared. The following formula is used to determine a required cable diameter. If a standard load is delta 2, A divided by square millimeters, the formula looks as follows. We calculate blowing current of maximum 0.2 millimeters thin wires using the following formula. I equals D minus 0.005, where D is the wire diameter in millimeters and K is the constant factor. For instance, this factor is 0.034 for copper, 0.07 for copper nickel, and 0.127 for iron. Thus, the cable diameter will be D equals KL plus 0.005. This formula will help you to calculate right values and select required cable.